Hi guys, Wolf here with another Pokemon Sword Show video, and today we're going to be doing the Endless Dynamax Adventure again. Um, from our last one, we did it with just some random people. We didn't do too bad. Let's see what's our record. Alright, so this is our my best record so far. We got to floor 3, we defeated 11 Pokemon, so... We're going to try and do better this time around because I think we had Luxray for most of it and that was kind of lackluster through the second floor and whatnot and then most of the third so that and I've kind of learned like what Pokemon to avoid because they don't really offer too much for the team and what items to avoid too so let's just go ahead and get in here. So one thing I have learned is while yes Life Orb is very nice to have in like um, PvP battles and whatnot, it's kind of a bad item to have in this because you are limited on your HP because it does carry over to the next rounds. Um, so every time you attack, you're automatically losing like 10 or 15% of your HP. And it just gets you closer and closer and closer to those KO ranges. So, Life Orb and Shell Bell and Leftovers are probably the two best items you can get because that's just constant healing you get to get. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, Sinuscorch has got a pretty decent move list. So does Diggersby though. So we're going to go with Diggersby. Um, like our start kind of, we want to like kind of like a balance to start off with because we don't know what our first wave's gonna be, and since we're not communicating, it's all kind of just like based on like what is the common weakness between everybody, and then picking the safer route. But you also want to be prepared for the Pokemon at the end, which is going to be a flying. So that could be a lot of different things. But at the moment, our typing is not that bad. We can get an item that route. We can get an item that route. Um, uh, we'll try Bug. Well, I don't know what they're picking. Uh, it, I could go either way here. It didn't really matter to me. Right, so we're going Fairy. Um, I would prefer us to have at least one support. Uh, just because that helps the team get through this a little easier. Because lives matter, so... Like, Alcremie, she's a pretty good one to get. Her Gigantamax heals your team. Um, she can buff a teammate, and her move list isn't too bad either, so... This would not be a bad one for us to get. Alright, so we're going to... We're just going to dig, because it's kind of like the safe route. that lets us avoid being hit. And it'll be a stab attack for us, so it'll do more damage. But we mostly want to avoid getting hit. That's the main goal. Now, why they don't Dynamax, I don't understand why. I mean, it's our first battle. We want to get through it as fast as possible without taking as much damage as possible. And of course, we're not going to get to Dynamax because we're under the ground. But our Sinus Scorch should have done it. So we did a pretty good chunk of damage there, so... Now if she hits us with that max overgrowth she just tried to do, that could mess up our day. She did a mystical fire. Alright, so we're done with her. Um, I would almost consider our Claydol switching out, to be honest. I'm gonna catch it just in case nobody wants to use it, because I would like to have a support Pokemon on our team, so... Now it is flying at the end, so Diggersby is kind of mediocre just because we have two ground moves. We have a rock move, but with very limited PP, and we have quick attack, so... At least this route, if we get to, if we do pick out Creamy, we get to support our team a little bit, so... But we're going to see what everyone else picks. I would prefer Claydol to want to switch out. Not going to lie. Sinuscorch is fine. Okay, so he wants to do it, right, so I'll let him do it then. Alright, 
So now we have a uh, heal if it gets the Gigantamax. Oh, uh, see here, Dragon Electric would be a good idea, just depending on what it is. That might be the route they want to go. No, they wanted to go Dragon. I would suggest our Claydol, like, I just, I don't like Claydol's move list is why I'm okay with him wanting to switch out if he's going to. Right, we're completely happy with what we got. Alright, so he's going to change out. Yeah, like rock. that's not bad for, uh, well, I guess it depends on what we get. We could get a Steel Flying, and that could be bad for our Lycanroc. So let's see here. I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna be fast. I don't think we've, we've not been hit yet, which is good, so. Since they both switched out, they're both at full HP. I'm just gonna dig, I'm just gonna keep trying to avoid taking damage. That'll be a good Dynamax against this thing, because it has a fairy move, so... Eventually, I would like to get, like, a, um... Okay, maybe, like, a Discord server or something up for this. Just so, while people are doing this, you can just put in codes and join. And that way you can communicate with each other and probably get through this a lot easier. But, uh... There's also, now, there's also RNG though, of like targeting, crits, misses, all that stuff still factors in. He made me flinch. What a boss hog. Okay, so I'll get a little bit of health back with this. Ooh. Talk about some damage. HP of that recover for me. Uh, a little bit. I'm just gonna do stomping tantrum. I think we're the fastest of everybody here, so. Unless I get flinched by Dragon Rush again. Now, I don't quite know what happens yet if, like, someone drops due to internet connection or something like that. If it boosts the entire team out, they're replaced by an NPC. I don't know. He took that... okay. Dang, he's faster than I am. Um, he has a ghost move, which can go bypass it. We'll see what its move list is first before we just, you know. We might be stuck with Diggersby at this route. I was hoping to go for the electric route, so I'd have an electric type, but we could get Landers at the end, which would have made me completely useless, so... We'll see. I just hate relying on Stone Edge, because it's got, you know, that chance to... that high chance of missing. Dragon Rush, Assurance, will o -Wisp, and Shadow Ball. Um... Uh... Not bad. We could burn the target so that it reduces their damage. He's fast. I would really like an item. But that doesn't mean I'm going to get what I want. Okay, good. We get to get an item. Alright, so. Let's look at our items. We would prefer Shell Bell. Or leftovers. Okay, so life orb. Yeah, it's just caught. You're just killing yourself slowly. A low berry's not a bad idea. Just to get rid of those um, status effects. These are kind of meh. But uh, yeah, leftovers and the shell bell are probably your best bet. Wise glasses are not bad because they don't hinder you. Muscle band is good too. I guess you could try the focus ash if you know that. There's just the Pokemon, whatever you're using, has a high chance of just being one shot. Because it's just super frail, but has high damage. Alright, so we got... A chance. 
this thing is going to be super duper bulky. But, all right, so we're gonna burn it for the chip damage. Then I guess we'll go into Dragon Rush spams. Or well, I guess it depends on if, if Lycanroc's faster than us or not. If Lycanroc's faster than us, then we can go for Assurance, because that does more damage if the opponent or the monster has lost any HP in that turn, so. So we get the burn. So there's chip damage. We are faster. That did so much. That did like nothing. That's because Chansey has no defense. Mystical fire. I feel like the moves lowering stuff has a much higher chance. Aw, so you do want to get Chansey's. It's just going to sit here and spam heal the team. Okay, so he's faster than us, so we're just going to go for assurance. What could Claydle be doing to set up? He should just be doing damage. What? So I guess we're speed tied. So close. I was like, well, I know we can't be hit by that, so. Trick room? Why? Okay, so this is the problem with some people. I don't know why they do the things they do. Because now they've made all of us go last but him. Well, I guess I can get away with assurance now. Thank you for healing our teammate after hitting them. I'm so confused on what happened. Okay. We are not catching this thing. Now it might not be a bad idea to pick up because, I mean, it does have heal pulse which is nice. It's got helping hands, got a light screen. Definitely a high utility monster. Alright, nobody wants it. Alright, here, let's see what we're fighting. We've not lost any harsh yet. Obviously not going to be a uh, uh, pressure is gonna hurt the PP, but um, so we can't do Willow West. Uh, what's this? 180, but 100% accuracy. It's got more PP, so we'll start with this first. I don't know how Kermit's going to be able to do much to this. I don't know what its move list is. I know it's got Mystical Fire. It's got its G-Max Finale. So we'll just find out. I right, took that pretty good. Oh my gosh! Well, that's what four times damage and a crit hit does for you. Oh no, not the heat wave. Oh. Oh, they're doing some crazy damage with the rock moves. G-Max Finale, it's gonna heal us up a little bit. Which is definitely, definitely nice. We have leftovers, so we get even more healing. That felt like we got 
way more healing than normal. Maybe the G-Max Finale, like, boosts the amount of healing you get from moves. I'll go for Dragon Rush. Does more damage. And we connect. Oh, it just barely lives. Well, what's nice about his stone is just, he's got no guard, so he can't miss. Alright, so that's our first one down already in 15 minutes. Man, I wish some of the Pokemon you see in here you could just tag if you don't if you're not seeing them. So you, like when you go to your normal adventures, it's like you mark down these Pokemon in the other den. All right, what do we got this time? Flying again. Um. I really don't care which way we go. Steel is a good way to avoid for our Lycanroc and our um, Alcremie because our Lycanroc is at half and they don't need a Steel type taking super effective shots on them, so. Or Beetle. Alright, well, I got Shadow Ball and Assurance Spam for him. We're pretty good on PP too. That was a really that was a nice quick fight for us because of the the Lycan Rock. We might need to go down a berry route just so we can get heals on him. I don't know how much PP he's got left because he did two stone edges and it cost two apiece, so he probably only got like one left. got a super effective. That'll be nice. Yeah, Alcremie's uh, thing definitely increases the healing you receive from other things. Maybe I'll leftovers also? Nice. Right. We have two special users, so that's what I'm gonna do. Because he's out of stone edges now, so... I really don't see a point not to Dynamax. I mean, it's going to double, well, it's going to give you a lot more HP, so you can take a hit way better. It's going to increase your damage output, and just the next person's going to get it anyway, so, in the next round. So why not get it, go ahead and use yours. There's a special defense lower. Maybe that crunch. He's probably going to have to switch out, because he's lost his, uh, owie. He's lost all of his stone edges, which kind of sucks. So close. The nice thing about Alcremie is all of its moves have pretty decent, uh, PP on it, so... I'm actually content with what I'm using. We still have plenty of PP on all of our moves, so I don't see a point in switching out quite yet. I mean, we are low HP. That might have been like the only reason to switch out. But if our Alcremi gets the Dynamax next, that might just make my leftovers kill me up more. So. Alright, good. Alright, so he's back up to full HP. Oh, but the crappy part is we're going up against rocks. Um, I'm guessing they're all wanting to go this route. Although, Crystal seems like a bad idea. I feel like we probably should have gone for the smaller rock just to increase our odds of a living. Ooh, 
Ooh, a shell bell. I think I'm gonna go for the shell bell now. Because since we're just hitting things, we might as well heal off what we're doing, so... Alright, so it's gonna be very crucial that we burn the crustal here, because he is nothing but full-on physical. Some of them switch spots. Alright, we're gonna go for the burn just to cut his physical pack power in half. And would you look at that? A miss. Starting this off strong already. why I was wanting to get the burn, because that was a lot of damage. Oh, really? I figured they would have Dynamaxed, because then we could have got a lot more healing off of our Shell Bell, and Clay would have got a lot more healing off of his leftovers. But what do I know? Well, we got to blow half. No. Well, there's one heart gone. This is kind of why I didn't really want to do Crustle. I should have picked the other one, but I feel like the boat still would outnumber me. Don't worry, guys. I'll cheer you on. You know he's going to Dynamax, like, right here at the end. Yep. Maybe I can get the healing one? Nope. Absolutely nothing. I don't know what the odds are of, like, which one you get. Let's just let you pick. I'd always pick healing. <laughs> Unless my team is full, then I'd pick, like, either attack or special type button. the same as she was doing already. So close, Clayto might go down right here. Nope. Thank you, targeting system. And we're back. And Clayto's almost back up to half. Almost. Hey, I'm still doing damage even when I'm not there because of my will o wisp. So he's got a special to come slower, so let's do this. Yep, quick claw. Such a cheater. Okay. Well, we lost one heart. Due to me getting hit, but I'm at full HP, so it's okay now. Crustal might not be a bad idea to pick up, just because of Rock Tomb, depending on what is at the end. Our cradle's kind of low. Our creamy is a little bit above half. I died. <laughs> He's wanting to switch out. I'm happy Clayton got it over him. But, yeah. So now, can we, there's berries that way. I'm trying to look at like what they are. Uh, that's a rock. I'll just let fate decide. I guess that's the route we're going. I don't know which one that is. I can't really tell. Hmm. 
The only perk to pick in the fairy one would have been a 50% heal to the team after the battle, so... Oh boy. It's so derpy looking. Alright, so I have... Two special tech users and one physical. But the physical's got um, super effective, so I'm gonna go with that. Just quit it with your stupid quick claws. We went through this one pretty quickly, too. We're only at the 25 minute mark, we're almost done with floor two. It sucks that we've lost a heart already, but I think each time you beat a floor, you gain one back, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, so this will help our, um, our, uh, Crustle, depending on what he did. Wasn't that annoying. good damage. And it lowered his speed too. I'll do one special defense slower for these guys and it's a physical move for me so hopefully these guys can finish off now. Crustle's so slow. Uh-oh. See? That's why the berry would have been nice to go into. But they wanted to go this route, but it should, yeah. Well, here we go. Let's see what we get. It could be... Our best bet, honestly, would be Articuno. Or Zapdos. Either one of those would be nice. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but if we get like Rayquaza or Landorus, could be a slight issue. Alright, let's see what we get. We don't have our Lycanroc this time. Oh, gosh. Okay, so let's think here. Pressure's so annoying. Um, we don't have a, we don't have a way to drop his defense now. Oh my gosh, our ore beetle is so screwed. I guess I'm gonna go for Shadow Ball to try and get a special defense drop. He needs that so badly. I mean, that did okay damage. I mean, it did more than I did. Oh! Yep. Yeah. Alright, there's two KOs. Man, it being Legends at the end, that's really rough. I feel like they should have the smaller Legends at the start, and then as you get, like, farther, farther in, then have the big ones start showing up. Crustle, Crustle is going to be our saving grace right here because he's going to slow it down. I'm hoping his cheer on does something good for us. Um, I re we're really going to have to decide on pick our moves wisely because uh, I put reflect up. I don't know if that's going to be good or not. Hey, there's a drop. There's another drop. Yeah, we'd probably want the Crustle to... I am okay with this. As long as our Crustle gets a Dynamax next. Oh, why would you Shell Smash? I mean, if he gets a Dynamax next, he might one-shot it. Which I would be okay with. 
wonder if he's got sturdy. If he's got sturdy, I mean, he just is stripped. Just take a hit. Canal Dynamax. Which one is Devil? He's gonna be faster than us now, so we can go for assurance now. Oh, that's so the wrong person to get it. But I mean, I guess it makes sense. This way he could take a special, or he could take a hit better. It kind of sucks that sounds up though, because any fire move coming our way is not gonna feel good. Why is it gonna be a ho? -oh? We're still faster even after a shell smash. Oh my gosh, so much damage! All right, so there's another speed lower. He's gonna get to go now, though. Oh huh? no! All right, this is gonna put it on the ground. Not that that really changes much, but. Magical leap, it doesn't do anything. Oh, oh, and you burned me. Oh, okay, took that. That's automatic burn, though. Oh, yeah, we're just gonna take our burn. <laughs> Let's hope this ends here. We're all, like, me and Cross are both going to need a, po I need a Pokemon change after this round. Yeah, I still got moves. I can help a little tiny bit. Alright, GG. Alright, so there's round two down. Yeah, that took us, like, this round took us 17 minutes to do. That's not too bad. I guess a big boy legendary. All right, so we're, we're back at the floor that I got to last time. I'm hoping hoping we can get past this one. And this floor is going to be... Dragon. Let's see here. Water. All right, we've got a Leon here. And we've got a Politoed here, which would not be a bad idea. Yeah. I wish it's rain would cleanse away this burn. Oh, I didn't check to see if we got any, a heart back or not. Because we were down to two. <laughs> Watch this thing just kill two of us right away and be like, Ugh. That doesn't bother us. None of us are using fire moves. Now, Max Geyser is going to be kind of scary, but... That is what it is. Um, I just want to heal, though. He gets the Dynamax again. Well, we're probably gonna switch out because our Pokemon's almost essentially dead. I'll probably be fighting Crystal for the line, so we shall see. Yes, just do that. This th that'll make this easy enough for us. Hey, nice bit that drop and a baby heal. Hey, those defense drops on either one. Those are those are super super good. Speed drops too. You know, like they're rocking out damage. Scissor. Eh, I probably would have gone still for the Rock Tomb just to drop speed. <laughs> yeah, me and him are definitely probably going to fight over this thing. Uh, that was a little bit better, so we'll get a little bit more HP out of that one. <laughs> We're just trying to... Save off this uh, burn. Oh, he did. Yeah. 
So that means we're at all right, stronger. So it did break. We did get a heart back after beating it. So I'm still in the game <laughs> with my bird. Ooh. Well, he's going to come back in with full HP, so I feel like I deserve to get it now. Unless this will cleanse all debuffs. Nope, just sharply raise that attack stat. On none of the physical moves we're doing. So put us back in yellow. Yeah. Oh my gosh, how creamy. Just kill it. A critical hit. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. That can co that's probably gonna cost us right there. Because now, if anything else dies, that's just GG. The double burns from uh, uh oh really screwed us over. They're gonna come back with full HP. I'm gonna need a new Pokemon. Everyone else has got full HP now, so. Oh, that sucks. I mean, yeah, I'll kill for two. Yeah, I'm catching you. I'm definitely going to fight to get you. I have like 33 HP, so, and I'm burned. I need a switch out. And we're going to have to play it really smart on the rest of these waves. Like, we can't even afford to, we can't afford to lose anything because we just automatically get booted out. Yes, I want to swap. I deserve to swap. Thank goodness. Screw you all, Creamy. I definitely don't want to do the electric one. What are we fighting? Oh, we're fighting Dragon, aren't we? What fairy is that? I can't tell. Looks like Comfy. And then Clefable. Let's go Comfy. Can we, can we buy a heart, please? Comfy was a bad idea. Because it's going to have a grass move, isn't it? Like Giga Drain. And one shot me. I think I would have lost the majority vote anyway, so. Alright. I don't think anyone has, um. Is he, are you Dynamaxing or are you not? No. Okay. If he's gonna Dynamax, I'm just gonna helping hand him. Because Dynamax moves do the most damage right now, so. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. <laughs> I knew it had a grass move. Confuse it. Too bad. We'll get a little hill off of that, and then we'll get more from the train. Special attack lower. Shell smash. He better do some freaking work with that. Poppy's gonna be so annoying. Maybe it'll floor healing me or something. I don't know. Mr. Crustal. Yeah, 
after you. I mean, okay. <laughs> it's definitely support oriented, so. Boom. So I'll get even more HP back. They we're slowly working our way back up. Just keep lowering that special attack. So the next time it decides to smack me with a max overgrowth, I'll die instantly. Although we got a super rough road coming ahead of us with the, uh, this only one heart left. Aww. It healed me. Yay, we're back with the full. <laughs> That was good damage. Uh, critical hit. I mean, I'm okay with our side getting critical hits. We we need them. All right. If we play our cards smart, if we make it to the boss, if we play it smart, we might be able to get by. We have enough support right now. If someone picks up the confi, because it's got healing. I can buff people if need be. It's got after you. Okay, so, all right, so we, we have like kind of two supports now. Ooh, an ice type would probably be really good against a dragon. No, I'm completely happy with what I got. He probably is just going to do uh. I'd say go for ice. It's a dragon that we got left. Alright, so... Depending on how this fight goes, depending on how much HP we have... Um... And depending on what dragon we get, we might actually have a chance. But we shall see. Crustal is going to absolutely destroy this thing. Not gonna lie, Crustal is gonna destroy it. It is not worth me Dynamaxing right now. Depends on what Crustal does. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. Yeah. Do it to the Crustal. Oh my gosh, we almost whoa. That was such good damage. <laughs> Tailwind's kind of an I think we just rinse and repeat what we just did and just end this right here, right now. So nobody takes any damage. Yeah, literally we just do the same exact thing, yeah. See, this is, this is pretty decent teamwork for not being able to cords, correspond with each other, so. And then after you. And rock tomb. Little blue ski. Wow, that was a nice uh, two turns. Uh, no, we're happy with our polytoad. a nice little combination we have right there with those two books together. No one took any damage. I don't know what Crustle's PP is looking like though. He's had it for a good minute now. Three of us just got new Pokemon, so... It doesn't even have an ice move, which is kind of crappy. Oh, he picked it up, so... Well, with my rain, the hurricane will have 100% accuracy, so he could do that, plus it might confuse it, which would be nice for us. Alright, here we go. We lost to a dragon last time, because Latios kept freaking changing types on us. Oh my gosh! Dragon Steel. I do have Earth Power.
Um, I don't know what he's quite doing, so I'm just gonna go for Earth Powers. It's super effective. He probably thought he was gonna do Tailwind to double our speed, but no, that's not what exactly he did at all. And well, that's GG. Already. <laughs> and we're booted out. <laughs> we, we didn't even get to make it as far as we did last time. We were looking so good there at the end. But the... Yeah. So, well. There's that. We did just as good as we did last time. But, um... Yeah. So, the double burn really kind of, like, screwed us over. But we tried. I don't know how much harder this would be with NPCs. Because uh, you t essentially, if you're doing it with NPCs, you get to pick the route you're going to go. So you can kind of determine what kind of Pokemon they're going to be picking if you're not picking something. So you can kind of customize your team. I don't know. I might try that out and then get back to you guys on that. But So there we go. We did just as... Well, we did a little worse because we had Latios down to like 1% last time. But Dialga was like just get out of here guys there's no point for you being here so but thank you guys for watching hope you like watching these series um i'm going to leave my um my friends code down in the comments down below so you guys can add me if you want to and we can do these together um and yeah so thanks for watching and yeah see you in the next video bye